like me, you, you're afraid, you know, with, uh, you had that, uh, the stepfather, and never, never say stepfather, you know, and, uh, uh, and now that he's gone, and it feels so free to say stepfather, and, and that it is, it's really wonderful, uh, it was 15 uh, miserable years. <laughs> Did you leave when you were 15? Uh, well, 16. But he was, uh, uh, Mom married him. Uh, I was, I think, 14 months old. So, He's and... Uh, the only father you ever knew, and... Uh, well, I guess. And I, he wasn't... Oh, but you connected with your right, real father. Right. So what was the what was the story about that that Jessie uh, got pregnant right and uh, yeah she got pregnant and I think uh, her uh, uh, her cousin got pregnant too uh, by my biological uh, father's brother uh, I think his name was Grover and so uh, they did t Grandpa Reed took him to court. Uh, and see, and that I think made my uh, biological father mad, and that so uh, he didn't want nothing. Uh, my grandpa we didn't want nothing to do with him, you know. So I think that kind of broke that up, and. And, uh, and so, are that, you saying Grandpa Reed took your him and your real dad to court? Right. Because he didn't want to marry your mom originally. I don't know what the, I don't know really what the story was, and then uh, uh, he didn't want nothing to do with uh, uh, with that, and. Uh, my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> so the two cousins were pregnant. Right. And so uh, they uh, they threw, uh, I guess my biological uh, brother was only 16. So the court just threw that out. Out. And, uh, and, and my dad, I don't know what happened, why. Or, or they told stories more or less made out like mother wasn't uh, uh, that that pure and maybe she was a there loose was woman a, or something. Uh, yes. oh. and so that kind of uh, uh, really destroyed her and uh, so she left uh, but Grandma Reed's uh, sister lived uh, in uh, Greenup, Kentucky that was still was it? no, uh, Hattie Hattie, Hattie. And, and, and Hattie had married uh, the stepfather's brother, Sam, Sam Gentry. And mother went down to stay with Hattie, and that's when she met the stepfather, so... Uh, were you born yet? Yes. You uh -huh. were born. Yes, so right. you were born on Greasy Creek. Right, right. And... Uh, And when she, uh, 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 let me hear, let's see. So she went to Green Up and she was staying with Yes, and this. that's when she met, uh, uh, the stepfather. And, uh, um, uh, and I think, uh, He was in they, Green Up too, babe? Was yes, Green yes, up. because that's where he, he lived. And, uh, uh, I don't know how Hattie met, uh, uh, Sam Gentry, and um, uh, and I guess they they just told him, you know, that was a good match, you know, that because uh, she's got had me and and he would be a good catch for her in that, and so I think it was only like a couple of days or whatever, I if I'm not mistaken, and they got and married. They got married and. Uh, and then that's when uh, I guess it came to 
Toledo looking for uh, a work and uh, uh, and mom, uh, they lived on Central Avenue in Toledo, Ohio, and uh, uh, mom and the stepfather, uh, he was good to have all the people come and, you know, stay to get their start. And so uh, uh, mom and the stepfather kept a lot of people, uh, uh, a lot of the, the famines and uh, 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 mom's other sister, Gladys Carroll, and quite a few people. So, I mean, he was, he was really good. Uh, that. But I guess back in the old days, that's what people did, you know? Yeah. yeah. And, uh, uh, and mom, you know, I, I look back now and I think, God, I wouldn't want to be cooking for all those people and, and everything. And, yeah. uh, uh, and, and mother, uh, mother got a factory job and uh, she worked at Autolite. And, uh, um, and then I, uh, I was the oldest, so uh, uh, I then took care of uh, the three sisters, and I had a brother, and uh, uh, he was only about two years old. And Mom went back to work, and I remember, you know, uh, taking care of him and uh, uh, really, really enjoyed him. And uh, uh, and Mom, Mom was the best thing that ever happened. Uh, all of us, I guess, we just uh, loved her to death and really thankful that uh, uh, the Lord let her live to raise us. You know, that we did have a, a mother and a, a good mother, so, uh, I don't know. And, uh, and when uh, uh, vacation times or I don't know even how, uh, well, maybe that's when mom and uh, the stepfather went to visit Grandma Reed and that. And I remember mom was, they were always so nervous about that bridge, that sway bridge yeah. trying to get across <laughs> and, and that. And so, uh, and then I, how I talked mom into letting me stay down there, but that was the best times of my life, just running free and nobody, uh, 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 yelling or anything, and you know, and me and uh, Inez is, you know, we're just a couple of years apart, so she was like a, a sister, and and Bruce and that, and had had good times, and uh, and and Grandma Reed, how hard she she worked, you know, and you you think, you know, I complain going down the basement with the automatic washer and. And to think she had to go with the uh, uh, carry water to bring it back, to boil it, to wash it. And, you know, I, I'm thinking, geez, how did they do that? That's hard work. And, uh, yeah. Did you know Grandpa? Did you remember? No, I don't. The only time I remember Grandpa Reed was uh, Mother must have been having, having some trouble or something. And I can remember a little bit about he thought that it would be best to go see what was happening in Grandpa Reed. <clears throat> so we lived over there on Fredonia Street, and he he came, and for some reason, uh, I was in school, I don't know if I was in maybe the first grade or something, I remember a little, and he must have walked down to the end of the street, because he must have known I was coming home from school, <clears throat> and... I just remember looking up, taking his hand, hand, and he looked so tall, and I, I says, you know, Grandpa, that they bombed poor Pearl Harbor, so they must have been talking about that in school or something, and and that's the only time I remember ever, uh, uh, you know, talking to him or being with him. So he came to visit you in Canada? Yes, Mom. Because Mother must have been, uh, uh, I don't know if she was having problems or, or what, but he did. He came to Toledo. Because your stepdad was abusive. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. So, but that's the only time. And as I said, I I had a, a, a wonderful mom and, and Grandma Reed, too. She was... Did you go back there? 
much did uh, you and your mom? If, as much as I could, if I could, could stay there, you know, my the summers, and it was uh, it was great. So you would stay the whole summer? Just about, I think, until someone came back or or, or somebody was coming uh, to Toledo and they made me go. I, I that would have been nice if I could have lived with uh, with Grandma and that. So, but it was it was good times. That. I wonder how she made it on so little money. You know, I don't know. How did she? I don't know. How did she I can live? remember uh, mom talking. You know, my mother, even though they have it that hard, it was uh, she, the way the talks and the stories, she had such a wonderful uh, life and uh, so much love. And talking about at Christmas time, uh, in the summer when or the fall, they would bury these apples and and bury them in the straw and everything, and and at Christmas time they would go get those apples. See, and she talked about that that they were so wonderful and that at at Christmas. So uh, she told a lot of stories, and as I said, she uh, she she really enjoyed it. And did she like her mom and dad? Were they? Oh yes, she was, yeah. She yeah. was close to them. Yes, very much so. When, because uh, uh, I can remember, I was little, and she come back uh, from the visit or after uh, Grandpa Reed must have passed out. I mean, uh, passed on, and she uh, she was in such bad shape. You know, she almost bedridden, you know. She was you know, so sad about it's his so dying. so sad and everything. It took so long, you know, for her to, to get over that. She, so, uh, and, uh, and when, uh, Grant, I don't remember, she, Mother just must have went, and, uh, when, uh, Grandma Reed, uh, uh, passed, uh, we all went, uh, uh, my sisters and I, we all went to the, down to Kentucky to for her funeral. She was in Kentucky? Oh, she was in Greenup, I guess. Yeah, Greenup. Yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, she was laid out at Gladys Carroll's uh, house. Oh, really? Yeah. There in uh -huh. Sires, uh, uh, near Sayersville. Right. Hmm. So. And did your mom talk to you about all that happened, the trouble she had when she got pregnant with you? Did she ever... Uh, Talk about it. No, but uh, people that generation uh, didn't. I guess. No, no, it just yeah. Uh, it's, I don't know. It was uh, it was hard. I think for it must have been really hard, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. Really? So, yeah. I think that was her love, and then. Uh, then I got to know him. And, uh, oh, that's right. You yeah, did. I, you contact him, or he contacted uh, you? I, I did. I looked him up. He uh, found out that he lived in Michigan. And, How uh, did you know his name? His name? Oh, mom. Oh, he told me. You know. She told you. Oh yeah, yeah. That his name, and uh, uh, I, I met him. And, and so did she love him? You think? Was she? Oh yeah. She was. Yeah, one. that was her love of her life. I think. So you called him? Uh, well, I went to visit him. He and I looked him up, and uh, uh, so it was a nice visit. Uh, he was very nice. He, uh, I didn't have a birth certificate, and uh, he did sign for me, and uh, uh, we got that taken care of that I do have one to this day. You never had a birth certificate? No, no, because I always went, you know, back back in, uh, when I was young, you just went to school and you told them your name. You didn't have to have any records or, or anything. And so I always went by Barbara Gentry, you know, and, uh, 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 and, and because of my husband, he says, you better find out. And uh, your uh, uh, Anne Hazel, uh, was still uh, alive and mom and somehow or another uh, they swore you know because Hazel knew uh, 
when I was born and that and my dad and we had it notarized and by George I got it and it was very very uh, I was so uh, pleased with that because I could remember going uh, writing to the uh, uh, to where in in Kentucky and uh, uh, they wrote back uh, Father Unknown. Oh, and I was crushed. I was crushed. <laughs> oh, yeah, so, sure. So anyway, I got, I got that, and so that was good. And, and what was your father like? My father? Um, he, he was more of a, a, a loner, worked hard, never married. Never uh, married? No, never married, and uh, uh, worked hard and all of his life. And... Uh, um, uh, and I think he enjoyed it. And he, he lived himself. up here as well? He no, no, he lived in Michigan, by Jackson, Michigan. Oh, okay. So. And did he tell you the story of why no. he didn't live? No, no, no. Uh, so, anyway, that, that was that. And you but, kept in touch with him then, and you right, had a relationship right. with him? I had a relationship with him, took care of him the last 10 years of his life. And I moved him into my house uh, for three years. Oh, why didn't so know? So really? took care of him. Yeah. So. Well, that's wonderful. Yeah. That's really a yeah. happy ending. Yes, it that. was. It, it was. It was good, and uh, uh, it wasn't bad. I didn't have a bad life. I had three beautiful children, and and uh, pretty good husband. He, he always made. You know, he always worked and. Uh, Always had a dollar. Yeah. So. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for oh. being so candid. Oh. That's